I really like this fragrance. I have a lot of fragrances. So nowadays when I buy or get a new one, it has to be really different to anything else I've got. I love how it's a rose, but it's more currenty and it is quite sweet to anything else I've got. All my other fragrances lean a bit more like, I'm gonna say it, but sexy. This one to me doesn't give sexy vibes, but I feel like it's a nice like everyday uplifting kind of happy fragrance, but it's got something really feminine about it with the rose and the red currant vibe to it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I really like rose fragrances in general, and I did enjoy Mila Harris Muric Mousse, the perfect fragrance for autumn. And even for a Christmas morning, it smells really sweet, but at the same time, a bit woody. So it is the perfect balance for a day fragrance. It doesn't really feel like the room. A person has to be around two meters around me to smell it. However, it gives an excuse people to get more intimate. I am not entirely sure how long it lasted me, but I felt like I had to refresh it at least three times a day. So let's say I was spraying it before I come to work, then on lunch break, and then before I left. So I think every four hours will be a nice indication. When I first spray it, I get something very sweet and floral. However, the more the time passed, the more woody and spicy and a bit more warm it gets. Try to avoid putting it like this in your bag because it will get a bit dirty. So always use a pouch. A velvet one is the best. I've loved wearing this fragrance this month. It's fruity floral but the musk makes it feel a bit more grown up and most of the fruity floral fragrances that I own are more suited towards warmer months whereas this I feel like I could wear through the autumn winter. I usually spray it in the morning. I could still smell the dry down at the end of the day so I'd say it lasts a good six to eight hours which is pretty good. When you first spray it you smell more of the berries I would say and that's when the, where the fruitiness is and then it dries down to like a nice musky scent. I think when you first spray it it definitely fills the room. People turn their heads and ask you what you're wearing. It's definitely one of those fragrances. It smells like a really nice fruity cocktail because it's a bit boozy as well. For me it's more evening but I definitely wear it through the day. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> It smells like autumn to me. I don't really know why because berries usually smell like summer. It's like a warm, warmer berry. So it's like the transition between summer and winter equals autumn. One of my favourite pieces of validation is if my mum approves of a fragrance I'm wearing because she's so difficult to please. She loves anything fruity and floral, but she's hard to please and she loved this. It's very berry, very rum, boozy, a bit more spicy. That's why I tended to like it. I kind of predicted that when I chose it. When I spray it, it does feel upper room. I've sprayed it in my getting ready room. I've gone back downstairs, gone up and can still smell it. But I'm a bit disheartened that no one complimented me on it. Whereas I was expecting big things. Last, I would say a good four to five hours. It can be worn any season. It really shouldn't be kept for a specific time because it's such a beautiful scent. Day, night is perfect. I've had fun with this. I'm glad to have a Miller Harris in my collection. I saw the sort of the press event going on during the month and was really excited to know that I'd sort of got to try it and be a part of the Miracle Muse experience.